Good morning. This is Bill Blatchford, another edition of Morning with the Blatchfords. You know, Christina gave me this cup. This is supposed to be fun, so I want to have some fun with you this morning. But the question we're going to talk about today is when to hire a coach. You know, this is a really appropriate time. I just spent a most amazing two and a half days with some of the most amazing people I know at a program put on by a man called Peter Diamandis, who's been a coach of mine now for the last, well, I guess six years. Peter, first off, I mean, this guy's a smart guy. I mean, he, first off, you want to think about something. He, uh, he graduated from MIT with two concurrent degrees, one in cellular biology. I'm not quite even sure what that is. And aeronautical engineers, well, I can relate to that. Then he goes to Harvard Medical School, but he's never practiced medicine. You see, Peter wanted to be an astronaut, but his mother wanted to be a doctor. And so he did both. But here he is. He's a serial entrepreneur. Now, Peter is involved with 21 separate businesses. You know of some of them. SpaceX, Singularity University, and 19 we've never heard about. Oh, another one, the Human Longevity Institute, which is really working with some very bright people on how to extend, hum extend human longevity. Now, you know, I sat with some really smart people. In that room of 250 people, there are several billionaires. Now, I don't think about billionaires except it's nine zeros after their number, whatever that is. And then several, new term, Senta millionaires. Now, the interesting thing about these 250 people, they all have coaches. They all have coaches. The room is filled with people from Strategic Coach, started by Dan Sullivan. Dan Sullivan is one of the participants in the course. He runs the biggest entrepreneurial coaching program in the world. Christina and Brad and I have all been members of that. I've been in it for nine years. These people have coaches. So here are about, out of the 250, there are about 60 of us from Strategic Coach. Now, I want you to know something about this. These are people that are way out of my league. They're way out of my category. I'm basically a fly on the wall. They're talking about things that I, I really don't even understand most of the things they're talking about. But the point is they all have coaches. Tony Robbins spoke to us. I mean, here's Tony Robbins, one of the biggest coaches in the world. Do you know that Tony Robbins is one of Dan Sullivan's clients? Dan Sullivan is Tony Robbins' coach. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. If Tony Robbins has a coach, Dan Sullivan has coaches. Then, of course, we had people from uh, the Young Presidents Club, which is no more than a coaching club. These people all have coaches. Just to give you an idea of what the benefit of this is. I'm talking this clear out of dentistry, of course. I sat next to a young man. Well, I hate to say it, but at my age, they're all young men, young women. But here he's probably 50 years old. And I, so I'm sitting there, and I met him last year. And I'm asking him what his company does. It's Axon. And he says, well, you probably don't know of Axon, but the company I recently sold was Taser. You know of Taser. Well, here's a man who's, what got him up in the morning was he wanted to replace the bullet. Now, I'm in favor of that. And, used on humans, but of course I'm a hunter, so I don't want to eliminate all bullets. But he developed a taser. 190,000 incidents of people's lives have been saved because he set apart to eliminate the bullet. That's not a, lot, not a small business, 1,000 employees. His next business he started, Axon, he collects the data and stores the data for all the body cams and the dash cams for 80% of the policemen in the United States. Whoa, how do you come up with a business opportunity like that? You want the secret? He has three business coaches. Now, I want you to take this back down to dentistry. When did I hire my first coach? Within two months of opening my practice. So I've always had coaches. You see, it seems like a lot of people will say, well, I'm doing fairly well. I don't need a coach. Well, I understand that. I did fairly well in dentistry, and I've done fairly well in this business. But I've always had coaches. So for me, it's very hard to understand the mentality that says, I don't need a coach. The best athletes in the world need coaching. I mean, that's, you, you can't do this on your own. When I go to that conference, for example, you know, I feel like I'm, my mind has just been expanded because I'm exposed to people that think on an entirely different level. You know, one of the quotes that I'd end this session with is by, by Coach Dan Sullivan, who says, the eye can only see and the ear can only hear what the brain is looking for. And I think the value of a coach is they show you something else to look for. So if you're looking for a coach, considering a coach, contest at Blatchford.